to them, the space program has always been with us, you know? So what's, if they're 10 and 7, and we've always had a space program. So, you know, it's, it's not too bad. And uh, my wife's father was in the Air Force, and she understands the flying business pretty well. So it's, there's no problem. Will they be at the Cape for yeah, the launch? Yeah, yeah. The rest of the family too, or? Yeah, my brother will be there. Uh, my folks got to go down and see uh, Apollo 8, so uh, they're going to stay out in the hallway and watch it on the, on the TV, but <clears throat> be a lot of people down here. Back uh, when you were training for Gemini 8, a long, long time ago. In 1936. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, had an EVA spacewalk schedule then, and as I recall, it uh, you said you used to run two or three <coughs> miles a day to get in shape. Are you doing the same thing today? Every day. Every day. Yeah, I go. Uh, I I'm up to about uh, 2.7 now, and I figure to be at three in a couple of weeks and level off at three. How long does it take you to run 2.7 miles now? I don't really know. I, I I was timing it there for a while, but uh, I'm, I'm not a track man. I was a I was a swimmer in my younger days, and uh, I really have never been much of a track man. So I just go run because uh, it gets you a good workout, it gets it fast, and uh, you get a good high heart rate. And I think that's a purpose. And I just finally quit time, and I go out on the beach in the morning and uh, enjoy the stroll along the beach. Do you jog it, or do you walk, or do you stroll? I jog. Jog. Yeah. You don't I run hard and then walking and running and walking. Oh, I no no I I jog and uh, for about two and a quarter, and then I uh, run hard for the last quarter mile. It's pretty good if you... <laughs> Look at this. Advanced communication and everything that <coughs> this mission. Uh, we're going to get to see and hear probably more of the moon than, than ever before, hear more about it. And uh, Are you going to see to it that uh, people sitting at home watching on television know what... Uh, What's going on out there? A running commentary type thing? If you're interested in geology anyway, why that would be fairly easy to... Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, indirectly, yes. I think our running commentary will be for the people in the back room, the uh, geologists in the staff support room. Uh, and I think that will tie in with what you see on television. However, they are operationally uh, separated from one another. The television is remotely controlled right. from the ground, and there are certain priorities on what the television looks at uh, during any planned stop. And uh, these are all worked out. And about all we're going to do with the television is indicate the direction in which we're going uh, at any particular stop so when they finish their pans and everything, they can come and find us and, and track us. But as far as trying to uh, pick up a rock and hold it in front of the television camera and describe it, no, we don't have any plans to, to tie in with the TV specifically because it would detract from what we're trying to do to uh, select the samples and analyze the geology. It, it really would to try and uh, talk at a level at which we could be understood by the general public. See, we, we've got to talk to the geologists because it's, it's their interpretation of what we see which will enable all of us to make on-the-spot decisions to get the most out of the flight. So we're not going to be able to run a commentary uh, for the people back home. That's going to be up to people like you to explain what's going on. Do you expect to be able to pick up a rock and say that's a Brescia and uh, maybe I ought to go over here and look for a piece of... Mm granite or basalt? Or? Yeah, we, we've spent a great deal of time with the uh, 12, 13, and 14 rocks. <coughs> 11, 12, and 14 rocks. As a matter of fact, we have a session Monday, and they, uh, we go into LRL and do this with the big ones, and it's pretty good. But I think uh, now there's a certain uh, question as to what you can see through that visor. Yeah. And the guys have had trouble seeing things with the rocks, and, uh, and we're sort of saying, uh, well, we hope we can see something, but uh, guys have had trouble seeing through that visor and you, you sort of have to keep it down and we may be limited merely visually to what, as to what we can see but we can tell you which ones are angular and which ones are rounded kind of thing but I, I hope we can give you a fairly good description of what we're seeing we're going to attempt to do that okay all right time's up, time's up. Well, guys such a nice day without talking for a half hour how about